I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Um, before I became a nurse, I wanted to be a whole bunch of things. <laughs> I wanted to be a flight attendant. I wanted to work um, in an airport. I wanted to work in like a technology store or a camera store. I wanted to do so many other things before um, becoming a nurse. Um, but it came to a certain point in my nursing journey where I realized that I needed to really know how to be a nurse. I really prepped myself. Hey guys, this is Michelle of All Trades and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I'm so excited to see you. My name is Michelle. I'm a registered nurse and this channel is mostly about my life as a nurse, my journey to becoming a nurse practitioner and just everything around that. If you're an oldie but a goodie, hey there. <laughs> Good to see you again. Thank you for your support and your love. I really appreciate you guys. This video, I'm going to be talking about um, a question that I received a while ago um and it's about if it's necessary to become a cna or pct first before becoming a registered nurse now for those that don't know what a cna or pct is a cna is a uh, short term for certified nursing assistant meaning that you need to get your certification to become a nursing assistant um, a PCT is also similar to that, but it's also titled patient care technician. Now, there are some hospitals where a PCT and a CNA are basically the same thing. There are some hospitals where a CNA and a PCT are two different things, meaning that they have two different roles. In my hospital, a CNA and the PCT are two different roles, two different positions. They both work under a nurse. Um, a CNA is a nursing assistant that helps the nurse. So they mostly help in basic care of patients, like washing patients, setting them up for their feedings, taking their vital signs if needed, cleaning them up, helping them with toileting and transfers from bed to chair and also with mobility. Um, PCTs basically do the same thing with an additional role of being able to draw blood, like labs and stuff upon request and also to check uh, finger sticks like blood sugars and stuff and if needed especially i think in the emergency room they can do an ekg on the patient so the question was is it necessary to become a cna or pct before becoming a nurse and my answer is yes 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 heck yes of course duh <laughs> all of the above i'm gonna be honest with you guys um, before i became a nurse i wanted to be a whole bunch of things <laughs> I wanted to be a flight attendant. I wanted to work um, in an airport. I wanted to work in like a technology store or a camera store. I wanted to do so many other things before um, becoming a nurse. Um, but it came to a certain point in my nursing journey where I realized that I needed to really know how to be a nurse. I really prep myself. I'm very like prissy or I used to be very like prissy or for lack of better terms, bougie. Um, I didn't know how to really touch patients during clinicals. I didn't know how to handle certain things. And I knew that it was going to affect me later on in the long run. So uh, with the help of my mom and some friends that knew things, um, I was able to get my CNA license and work as a CNA slash PCT in the hospital and um, also work as a CNA in a nursing home before I became a nurse. And when I tell you that helped me a great deal, it helped me. So I know if it works for me, it would definitely work for anyone out there, especially if you're like me, who's just very, <laughs> I don't know, just like, I guess too girly for the job. To even become a CNA. So the thing is that for, I don't know how it is for other states. You can look at your board of nursing for like the criteria and stuff like that. But for um, my state, which is New Jersey, to be certified for, to have your nursing assistant license, you can either take a course and then take the certification exam. Or if you're already a nursing student in nursing school, once you complete um, the course Fundamentals of Nursing and you pass that course with a B or higher, then you automatically waive the need for a uh, certification class because i think the certification class is mandatory for before you can take the exam but if you're already a nursing student and you already completed that course in nursing school you don't need to do that so that was the case for me i already completed um fundamentals of nursing course i think this is my junior year in college 
I could be, is it junior year? Yeah. Something like that. <laughs> so I completed the course. So basically, um, I have to show them proof to my board of um, nursing um, department and then they waived me the right to take the course. So I just went straight ahead and took the examination. Now, um, for anyone that's interested in doing this, you can just um, follow up with what I'm saying. So when I did that, um, before I took the exam, I had to, personally, I took it upon myself to do a little practice quiz for the CNA license because I know that in nursing school, I'm learning how to be a nurse. But now that I'm learning how to be a CNA, I need to learn the roles of a CNA. For example, if a blood pressure is low, I will call the doctor as a nurse, but as a CNA, you would tell the nurse. So you have to know those little change of like command, They're like, you know, the chain of command that happens and the switch of it from a nurse to a CNA. So um, I just did a quick refresher. I think I just borrowed like a practice book from the library, did a quick skim around it and stuff like that. And I did that before I took my exam. So when I took my exam, I passed it on the first try period. You already know, it's like, nah, thankfully I did, thank God. Um, I passed and I got my license and I started off working in the hospital and then I also applied to a nursing home. So I was working two jobs, but, but they were both per diem jobs. In the hospital, I learned how to draw blood. I learned how to do an EKG. I learned how to, I learned how to uh, check finger sticks and all that stuff. So that was helpful. Um, at least I dipped my foot in the water of phlebotomy before I became a nurse. And then when I worked in a nursing home, um, they really helped me a lot with being strong, like, and just like, I don't know, just overall strong. Like I really, I think that I was fortunate enough, the place that I worked with was just not like any nursing home. It was like a big campus as they called it because different buildings had different things. Like there was a building for um, assisted living. There was a building for acute rehab and subacute rehab and a building for nursing home and a building for behavioral health, like just different buildings. Um, and they would float me around to different buildings to do different things task and um i learned a lot there as to like how to really like take care of a patient how to really touch a patient how to roll them transfer like you know the easier ways and i learned a lot about body mechanics how to really do stuff in a way that it doesn't hurt me and my body you know as a worker and i i really learned a lot like about like how to really clean patients how to be like just to do things in a neat systematic way and I can tell you that really helped me working as a nurse. Like even when I first started as a nurse, being that I was a young nurse, they probably thought I was gonna be sloppy, but I wasn't sloppy. I was really like, you know, proficient in all that stuff. It really helped me and it helped my performance as a nurse, which was really good. So, and some people have asked me if working as a PCT or CNA has helped me as a nursing student. And I would say it has to a little bit of an extent in the fact that I'm, I've been in the surrounding or in the setting of nursing care. So one thing I've learned is that um, <laughs> what hap what they teach you in nursing school is a slightly different from what you would see on in the hospital. So you wouldn't want to use what you've seen in the hospital to um, answer questions on an exam in nursing school, for example. Um, working in the hospital before I became a nurse did help me with exposure and just seeing things for what it really is in the real life. But as far as like nursing school, I would say it just gives you um, exposure to help improve your learning. But um, as far as like answering NCLEX questions and stuff, I wouldn't really depend on my experience working as a CNA. So to answer my question in the beginning, yes, 100% yes. Like I said earlier, I will 100% recommend it to any nursing student out there. If you're thinking that it's not necessary, I'm telling you it is necessary. If you're not able to do it, it's completely fine. You you, you can still perform well as a nurse without a CNA or PCT um, experience. But if you're able to, I will 100% recommend that you get that license and get some exposure, get your feet on the ground and just start working as a CNA or a PCT before you become a nurse. It's very helpful no cons all pros <laughs> i hope this answered your question if you have any more questions feel free to write them down below in the comment section or to send me an email if you enjoy watching this video please give it make sure you give it a thumbs up make sure you like comment and subscribe and share to your friends um thank you guys for watching and i'll see you next time <laughs>